Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. It's Cooper here and we have a big battle ahead of us. We are going to be bringing on the full eight marshals to fight in the mission Scorched. And we have Red Eyes on Joey's team now, but I forgot. A few missions back, I bought something pretty interesting, which I don't know if I should use and I'm going to use anyway. We have the Metal Morph. I choose to use it. We are now dealing with the Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. This is a monster. 2900 base attack without any items boosting it, 2500 defense because we're already level 5, that's why. Normally it'd be 2800 base attack, which is probably our strongest monster. That's stronger than Dark Magician. So, in base attack at least. We're going to be giving him all these healing items so that he can help our team because our other members have all the power up items. And Joey is now really strong. Mako now has Suijin. Or no, Sangha. He now has Sangha. Uh, Yugi has that. Everyone else is the same, guys. Everyone else is the same. Let's get into this biggest mission ever. And hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we don't get our butts kicked. Because we now have a freaking strong-ass monster in Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Which is a freaking cool monster in my opinion. I always loved summoning it, but it was super hard to summon, so... Everything's been burned to the ground. Is this the work of a new enemy? So, we're back in Sagoot, and we have lost a lot of things. A lot of uh, our monsters have been killed, apparently. So what we're going to do is we're going to send Mai over here. Because the roaming monsters, I believe, are in the water. Uh, we're going to send Yugi to this place. We're going to send Fizdiz to back up Yugi. We're going to send Joey to this place. We're going to send Taya to back up Joey. We're going to send Simon to the middle. And we're not going to... And we're going to send Mako out a bit. So, we're going to be looking out for this roaming monster that's in the bay. I don't know exactly where it is, but it should be in this water area somewhere. We're going to be moving around to find it. And I think it's a pretty tough monster, so you got to be very careful. You don't want to just fight it with your weakest mo weakest team member. I'm sending Mai because I think Mai is our strongest. Uh, now that I see that every single one of those forces are heading for our main base and not these yellow islands. They all flame swordsmen. Who the hell is this? Oh, whoa, that's Sword Stalker. Okay, that's Flame Swordsman. And that is Sword Stalker. So two Sword Stalkers and three Flame Swordsmen. That's that's actually a pretty terrifying enemy. Mako, you can probably fight a weakened enemy, but not all of them. Illusionary Gentleman, I have, I have now decided that you're going to back up these guys. Uh, who else is going on the right? Uh, Fizdiz, right? Fizdiz, uh, is this Fizdiz? Where's Joey? Joey, weren't you supposed to leave already? Joey, why didn't you leave? Joey was supposed to leave the base, but he did not. Maybe that means he needs to stay in the base because he knows I'm going to lose some of these fights. Could be. Don't know. Sword Stalker's tough. The other Neck Hunters are whatever. So, no healers. Thank God. The Sword Stalker... Oh, wow. The Neck Hunters are stronger because of the freaking level. That's so interesting. All right. If these Neck Hunters are stronger, then maybe I should go for them. Leave the Sword Hunter alone. Or the Sword Stalker alone. So, let's kill one Neck Hunter. Get rid of his five attacks by doing that. And then uh, we'll focus on the other guys later. Did I miss? God damn it. Hunting Slice, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how strong you are. Uh, that's pretty good damage. Now our Hunting Slice. As long as they don't focus the same guy the whole time, we should be fine. But that is that. this is going to be a real fight, people. These guys are actually strong. And I can accidentally get stuck in fighting them in a chain because once we win or lose this fight, our monster moves ahead or backwards. So, Dark Slash of Resentment. That's an interesting name for an attack. And it did 265 damage. I need to be worried. I need to be really freaking worried about my Beaver Warrior. Because they keep aiming at him. And you have an item, thank God. Heal the Beaver Warrior. Okay, this isn't a joke anymore. We're having a real fight against Neck Hunters and freaking Sword Stalkers. And for some reason, they get to attack way more than us. And we missed our first attack, so that really sucks. It's putting us behind. Uh, yep, there's a Hunting Slice. He would be dead right now if we didn't miss that attack, so this is dangerous. Uh, we're good. Summon Skull, could you finish it? Could you do the 280 damage we need? Yes, 281. Barely was able to do it, but Summon Skull is strong enough. Beaver Warrior, on the other hand, is still getting bullied. What the hell? Stop bullying my Beaver Warrior, you freaking jerks. We're gonna Skull Spark you. See if we can bring you down a little bit. 
We need Beaver Warrior to hit the rest of his attacks because he does the most damage on our team. Four set. I never thought I'd say that out loud. Beaver Warrior does the most damage. Uh, he's got it. Summon Skull is just basic. He needs to do as much damage as possible. 329 is an amazing amount, though. That was way more than expected. Then this Rodent Sword should finish him. Good. Okay, he wasted two, uh, three attacks. We got three. They wasted three attacks on both of them. Now we gotta wait a bunch. I don't think he's winning any. Yeah, he's not gonna win this fight. Because he guarded as his last thing, so we gotta wait. Then we're gonna go for attacks, which we're not gonna be able to kill the Sword Stalker. It's not weak. It's not gonna die that easy. I mean, maybe with a crit it'd be possible. But, eh, nah, not even with a crit. It doesn't even look like it. Damn. Either way, we got him down really low. Simon definitely won that fight. Kicked some, kick some damn ass right there. Zombie Warrior, level 31. Beautiful. Simon, level 22. Love it. Summon Skull, getting up there. Definitely need Summon Skull to get up there, because he is one of our most important members. Uh, Summon Skull, get the fuck out. Hurry, before they kill you. Ooh, barely dodged that. Okay, you, cut off the Flame Swordsman forces. Mako, you get ready to finish off the Sword Stalker. There he- Oh, because Red Eyes is so big, it, it took up the too much space. Alright, Mai, you need to hurry up and find this thing. Okay, that's what I thought would happen. If only I can move it faster. Like, I'm sure there's a way, I just don't know how to do it. Alright, so we're- Oh, she's finding the other Sword Stalker, okay. Uh, same thing, no items, gotta get rid of those neck hunters. Although, these- uh, Fizdiz's team does not have any power boost, so we're just gonna be fighting with flat damage. Which isn't very good, because these enemies are really freaking strong. If we can kill off one of the neck hunters, then we could heal up and we should be fine. But our dark elf is a uh, dark elf is super low level, so she needs more time. Uh, dark slasher resentment. Yeah, they're aiming at the dark elf. Damn it, that was the one thing I didn't want them to do. You're okay, dark elf. Don't worry. Good. Yes, aim at cursed dragon. He's the best at taking your hits. And it still looks like we're taking too much damage. Illusionary gentleman, can you take the hits? Ugh. Okay, nobody's taking these hits as well as they need to. We're going to magic cannon this thing, because if we can finish off one neck hunter, then that's it. We're going to be fine. If they get a crit or somehow we don't finish it off, we're in trouble. So Spectral Mist from our Illusionary Gentleman should be able to do... What, what, what's, what's this health? 600? Ooh, almost done. Almost killed him. Alright, so this... Maybe they're getting a boost for fighting in the Wasteland field, I don't know. I feel like I should be getting a boost, but I don't feel like I am. So this should do just enough damage, hopefully. Our Cursed Dragon's pretty freaking strong. Damn it. We were seven damage off. That sucks. We had it. We freaking had it. I was trying to stop him from getting a fourth attack. Or getting another attack in. Oh, and with that other attack in, he did a lot. Okay. Dark Elf, finish it off. Magic Cannon. No, no, no worries. Just get rid of it. Uh, good. Okay, one less thing to worry about. He still lost out on three attacks. That's really good. We're about to lose out on some attacks, though, because we desperately need to heal. Uh, red Medicine up your guy. Illusionary Gentleman, you're doing great. That's why I need you to heal. Because you have the power to kill what's left. You don't have enough to kill Neck Hunter, and Neck Hunter's going to get all three of his attacks off. So that sucks. But we can take the hits. Spectral missed him. Well, I guess we couldn't take the hits if he had been focusing Curse of Dragon, but... Everyone else can take the hits. Oh no, actually I meant Dark Elf. Dark Elf wouldn't be able to do it. So we're going to go for Sword Stalker. Just do as many attacks to Sword Stalker as possible. Maybe get the kill. Maybe not. We'll find out. But man, Red Eyes has a huge radi uh, radius around her. A huge circle. Which is crazy. So let's go over here because radius is half. It's actually diameter, but whatever. Ignore it. There's a huge circle around him and now we have to deal with that. And 288. Yep, we can kill him. This is why I went for Sword Stalker. He's a little bit weaker, so we actually have a chance of killing it. Still pretty cool. I like how it looks. They made it look good. The little cape is a nice touch. Neck hunting, though, I'm not I'm not a fan of you. You need to stop doing your damage. Alright, 263. We took that pretty well, honestly. We're good. And we level Illusionary Gentleman has a seventh attack. Are you kidding me? Dark Elf hit three attacks. Good, good. And hit level 10. That's really good. Alright, so she needed that fight. Fizdiz definitely needed that fight. But that should be your last fight, Fizdiz. You need to chill out. Uh, where's Red Eyes? Red Eyes, get ready. I need you. You're going to be carrying the team right now. Because Mako, after this fight, I need you to run. Because if you have to fight anyone else, you're going to lose. You're going to die. 
because you do not have your strong members anymore. I did give him Sangha of the Thunder, because Sangha of the Thunder could use the levels, and goddamn, Mako could use the power now that he's lost Red Eyes. Though Sangha just naturally is stronger than Red Eyes, so this is a good addition. Kind of weird to put an electric type on a water team, though. It feels, like, wrong. Then again, they both get a boost from Umi, so I guess that's kind of right. Yeah, look at that. You're still pretty good, Mako. I wish I could fight and make you fight in the water, but I don't want you to make you fight the roaming monster. Because you're just not strong enough to fight it. And I think Mai is. I think Mai can handle it. She is like our strongest member. Maybe Yugi, but she she feels like the strongest. No, I can't run. He's too slow. He's too slow, Mako. You and your freaking Navy team. What are you doing? These three flame swordsmen are going to kick your ass. Oh my god, they get so many attacks too. No healing items, but they get so many attacks. Alright, the Dungeon Worm and the Flame Swordsman and the Threats. Let's go for Flame Swordsman because it has less HP and we actually have a chance of fighting it. Because I'm going to go with the assumption that Mako is dead. Mako is dead because he's in the path of all of these things and he could not outrun it. Octoburser, I need you to do like half its health. Okay, good. We'll just wait for Octoburser to get in our attack and then we're going to start focusing the Dungeon Worm. Okay, Wormblaze is still going to hurt like hell. Why are you attacking our best member? How dare you? Don't do that to us. We need him. Oh, that's hurting. Oh, at least these fights are finally real. They're not super boring anymore. Thor Thunder Point Blast, go! We actually have a chance of losing, which feels good. I like games where I feel a little bit of stress. Not too much. Too much stress and it sucks, but just a little bit. I guess that's why games like League of Legends is fun, but then again, that game just turns into anger more often than not, so... Eh, it's a mixed bag. Alright, we're gonna wait. 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 I want that worm to let its defenses down, or put its defenses down. Because I need to kill it. If Mako's gonna be fighting these guys over and over again, then we need the worm dead. Uh, come on, Octoburser, take those hits. You're literally our only damage dealer. Song only gets two turns, so it's hard to count him. And I guess Karyushin is doing okay. Could be better, but it's doing okay. If we were in the water, it would be doing a lot better. 200 damage, that's fine. Song, how much do you do again? Were you like 260? Ooh, big thunder point blast. 280, that's even better. Alright, now let's get some spears in there. One. And warm blaze, here we go. As long as, it, as long as it's not a crit, we shouldn't have anything to worry about. So just don't do crit. That would be great. Yeah, alright, we're good, people. Now, Kaiushin, we're going to be able to kill him with Octoburster, so focus the other guy. Aqua Breath, nice. See, even Mako can win fights in this game. This is freaking awesome. We haven't used him for so long, and he's still useful. I guess that's what happens when you buy a lot of items to buff up your team. Because Octoburster is definitely carrying the team right now. Alright, we won the fight. Mako, you need to freaking find a way to get out of the out of the range of your opponents. They're only walking in a straight line. We can avoid them. Red Eyes is coming to help. I forgot who I left in base, but somebody's in base trying to help. Oh, God. Okay, maybe if we win this fight, it sends us on the other side of him, and then we're good. That would be that would be best case scenario. Octo yeah, Octoburster, do this really quick. Just get a crit. Make it make it easy. Nope. Okay, don't make it easy. We could take one of these. It's going to hurt like hell, but we can take it. This is his weakest member. Oh boy, that's tough. Alright, go ahead. Aqua Breath him. This probably won't kill, but with Sangha right there waiting to take his turn, Sangha should be able to kill him no problem. Oh, critical hit. There it is. Great job, Mako. You and your freaking crit. That's exactly what we needed. Ah, and with that, everybody, Mako may be able to escape, because now Mako's going to be sent backwards, which... Should save his life. Maybe not, maybe so. We'll find out. Yes, sent backwards. Run! Red Eyes. Yay, we got an area. Run! Get in the bat get in the path before Mako gets in trouble again. Wait, where you go? Oh! Oh, so now you want to go over here and fight Yugi. Alright, that's fine by me. Joe okay, so they they cut off one of their flame swordsmen to go fight Yugi, or Sword Stalker to go fight Yugi. That's pretty interesting. Red Eyes, Black, Metal, Dragon. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want you to do it. Shadow, Mega, Flare. Damn, is that a name. So instead of Dark Fireball, we have Shadow, Mega, Flare. Way stronger. 300 flat damage, and that's without any power boosters. That's really good. 
Flame Swordsman, Flaming War Sword, pretty strong. Gotta respect it. Me, on the other hand, I have a Flaming War Sword a little bit tougher. Just a little bit. Just 600 damage. That's nothing. Worm Blaze is still a threat, but, I mean, you're attacking our tank. That thing has 2400 defense naturally. So, yeah, great job, buddy. And 1800 HP is pretty freaking good. Flame Swordsman, on the other hand, is not a tank. Stop hitting him. That's a pretty jerk move you're doing. Let's focus on the worm then, because I know Red Eyes can finish off the Flame Swordsman. So we'll have Red Eyes finish off the Flame Swordsman, and these guys will finish off the worm. Even if Flame Swordsman gets another attack, we're still divvying out the damage correctly. Plus, he could take the hit. Alright, Worm Blaze, go ahead. Yeah, 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 keep hitting my tank. He, he can definitely tank it. So this is literally just a green, silver Red Eyes. I like it. I like how tanky it is. I like how it looks. I like its new attack. It's it's not 10 fireballs. It's one big one. And done. And Soul Sphere. With a power boost, we're definitely going to kill him. Battle Arts Claw still hurts, but we're going to be fine. Who's in actual danger? I don't think anyone is. Damn, and a freaking Red Ice has a lot of attacks, actually. I didn't realize he had four attacks. That's really good. In fact, that's good enough for us to win the fight in one go. My god. Joey, your new team is amazing. Like, your old team was good. Like, not our strongest team, but good team. This new team, though, pretty damn solid. Oh, but that crit hurt. Oh, that sucks. We're going to have to heal you. We're definitely going to have to heal you because that was a little bit too much. All right, here it goes. Mega Flare, whatever called it. Bam. Dead. We did it, guys. We were able to win in one go. We didn't have to do a refight. I like it. That's how I want all of our fights to go. Joey, level up. Galicia D Knight finally got another attack. It desperately needed that. It had less attacks than freaking everybody, so... Yeah. Let's get that extra attack in there. All right, Flame... Yeah, okay, we're fighting immediately. There's no choice. We're gonna have to heal Flame Swordsman with Red Eyes. If we even get a chance. We could lose Flame Swordsman right now. All right, good. Uh, Flame Swordsman, you're gonna need a Red Medicine, your, uh, Red Eyes... Or, your Flame Swordsman friend. Sorry, Red Eyes, heal Flame Swordsman. That's what I'm trying to say. Is it just me, or is there something in the top top left of the screen above worm, uh, the Worm's... Dungeon Worm's health bar? You guys see it? It's like moving up and down slowly. What is that thing? I can't even tell. What the hell? Whatever, I'll try to ignore it, but I, I, I see it. It's moving up and down like Red Eyes is. What the hell is going on here? Alright guys, I might be having an episode. Might be being a little bit crazy, but whatever. I'll try to ignore my insanity and... Ah, oh, he lived with 44 HP, the freaking jerk. I'll try to ignore my insanity so that we can play the game normally. Again, Flame Swordsman is all the way down, is already weakened to that point, so I'm a little bit scared. I'm gonna have to heal him yet again. Although, if Red Eyes dies, then we don't have a healer, so. Don't know if we want Red Eyes to die either. Alright, Red Medicine up Flame Swordsman again, please. Yeah, I swear to God, that thing's starting to annoy me. It looks like an insect, actually. Or like a little glitch. Worm Blaze, go ahead. Yeah, attack Galicia D Knight. I don't even care about him. Look at that. He doesn't even care about you. He ignored the attack. That's how much he didn't care. Flame Swordsman, go for the kill. But since that took an extra hit, that means that we're probably not going to be able to beat this guy in one go. Because uh, we had to waste one of our powerful attacks on uh, the, his Flame Swordsman. It took an extra one. And let's do you. This should do enough damage. Shove it down the mouth hole. Yeah, the Shadow Mega Floor. There we go. It's guarding. The ch that freaking jerk. It's guarding. Alright, I'm gonna wait then. Galicia D, attack the other guy. Thing had to guard, didn't it? Dungeon Worm, will you please attack me? Okay, he waited that time. Since he waited, that means... I'm gonna risk and just say... You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. We're gonna use both of our attacks on it just to make sure it dies no matter what. That way, the next in the next fight, all we have to fight is the freaking... The freaking, uh... What's that thing called? Battle Lizard? Armored Lizard? Yeah, we had to fight Armored Lizard. Let's rip off some of that armor and put more on Red Eyes. Make him like a super metal dragon. Alright, level 10. Oh, Joey got a big level up. Everything leveled up for him. Health went, points went up. Attack points went up. And uh, attack num a number of attack points went up. Nice. 
We got, we're doing good, people. No, oh, crap. No, he's out of range. Turn around. <laughs> I didn't even know they could get knocked out of range. I thought Joey's was just too big. But for Joey's debut battle with Red Eyes Metal Dragon, that's pretty. this is a pretty good uh, showing. Look at this. Done. Oh, crap. I got to remember to get the roaming monster. I, I completely forgot about that. We've had so many, uh, so many battles right in a row that I completely forgot. We got to focus on finding that roaming monster. I know that it's in the bay somewhere, so I just need to keep looking. And I know Mai could defeat it if, you know, nothing crazy happens. So, we just gotta keep working on this, people. Gotta keep looking for it. It's out there somewhere. Where are you? Alright, Mai, you're not finding it? Okay. Go a little bit over here. Okay, you can't. Okay. Go all the way over here. Can you do that for me? Alright, looks like she can do that for me. Good, good, good. Now I forgot. We still have to fight you. Uh, you could fight us in the base. And we took over this place. Does this place have a traitor? It does not. Damn. Alright. And then this place. We're about to get into a new fight. Here we go. Sword Stalker versus Yugi. We haven't fought with Yugi in a while, so I hope you guys get to enjoy this fight. I forgot. Did we already weaken this guy, or was this the guy we missed? It's been too long. Oh, oh yeah. We weakened this guy. This guy's about to die. Like, literally, he has one monster. Full health, but one monster. So, sorry, you're, ta you're taking on, like, our second strongest team, buddy. That's not a... It's not a smart idea. Oh, wow, now that I see Celtic Guardian's damage, maybe this isn't our second strongest team. This might be third. Joey's new team might actually be stronger. But that makes sense. We have Feral M. And Dark Magician is still leveling. Oh, my fucking god. Dark Magician, I told you, the next time you miss, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm holding back my the amount of upset I am right now because I feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like we'll kill this guy anyway. This Celtic Guardian here. Oh my god. I'm upset. Don't miss this one. I know he guarded. Let's try to break through his guard. Alright. It's all good. The monster's gonna die next turn. He's actually winning the fight. Dark Magician, you and me need to have a talk, buddy. You need some... We need to improve you somehow, because what you are now is just wrong. You're just wrong. Alright, Feral Imp, nice level up. Celtic Guardian, nice level up. Dark Magician, yeah, you better not level up. You didn't deserve it. Alright, so, back into the battle. Back into the unangry, regular fights. Let's see, is he sending out more forces? No? Who is he? Ew. It's the guy from the Shrieking, the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh, or the, the Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> obviously. It's the guy from the, uh, the Merrick Squad. What was he? Is he Strings? I think his name was Strings. And, like, he had Slifer the Sky, he better not have Slifer the Sky Dragon. Holy shit. That would just kick my ass. Like, no question. Alright. Still not gonna stop until I find something in this bay. Uh, you, I, I guess, go back to base. Alright. Oh, there it is. Found it. We're being attacked by Roman monsters. So, right there, people. And it's a full squad of monsters. Holy crap. That was bad. I completely forgot it was a full squad. Okay, people. My god. We're fighting the whale from Pinocchio. Suijin. And Aqua Dragon. All of these mo Oh, we have a fly- The whale counts as flying. Suijin is a walking monster, even though it's flying. And then the Waco Dragon is actually a sea monster. That's, that makes sense. All of these monsters are... Oh my god, that Fortress Whale is so freaking strong. Oh. Oh my god, this is bad. We might have needed someone even stronger than, or than Mai to win this fight. This is freaking crazy. That thing has 2,500... All of these things have so much HP. And if they get one attack off on us, it's probably going to take like half our health. My god, unless they attack Harpy's Pet Dragon. Whale hail. Hail the whale. Please attack Harvey's Pet Dragon. Yes, holy crap. It shoots a missile. It does like 500 damage. Aqua Breath. Okay, this is going to hurt too. This is their weakest monster, but Aqua Dragon is still a, a freaking monster. It's 2250 base attack. It's a fusion monster that takes three monsters to fuse. Okay, let's just kill that whale. That whale is going to kill us. Suijin is next though. Suijin is also going to kill us. Holy crap. Fortress Whale is so freaking strong. For those of you that don't know, Fortress Will normally has 2350 attack and is a ritual monster. 
And Sui Jin, we do need to capture Sui Jin, because Sui Jin is part of the freaking, uh, the fusion that we need for Gate Guardian. Which, we already have the Sangha, uh, Mako is using it right now, but we still need to capture the Sui Jin. So this didn't kill it, my god, we're gonna die. We are going to die, because I, uh, the only healing items we have is on Harvey's Pet Dragon. Oh, thank you, Jesus, it is dead. We have killed the Fortress Whale, we are gonna be just fine. We still need to heal our monsters. But we are going to be just fine. That was terrifying. These guys are on another level. These guys are not on the level that we are at right now. They are above our level. And we're fighting them in the ocean. So Aqua Dragon is getting a boost. Suijin, I don't know if he gets a boost. Fortress Will, I'm pretty sure, got a boost. That's why it was so strong. Raging Waters, here we go. I love Raging Waters. Fun place to go. Uh, I, st I prefer Wild Rivers, but Raging Waters is cool. I'm talking about water parks for those of you that don't know. You probably do know. I hope you know. And let's go. 500 extra damage. Nice. Let's do 500 more. Hell, 600. This, this heart will be stronger. 600. Beautiful. Alright, Aqua Breath me. I can take it. Hell, if anything, we're capturing a lot of monsters that I'm pretty sure uh, Mako Tsunami would love to be using. So, if we need to buff up Mako's team, this is where we can do it. The problem is, like I always say, Mako is only good in the water. And there is, like, no water here. In any of these maps that we've been to, there was only one water map. And we have to go to the, off the map to get to this water just to find these guys. Which, we are never going to be fighting enemies off the map because they all have set paths to follow. They always go for castles. They never chase... Well, I guess when they were going after Taya, that was the only time they chased you, so there. But other than that one time, they don't chase you. They go for castles. So we would never fight these guys in the water. So Mako, it's hard to it's hard to get an excuse to use you. I just noticed this Aqua Dragon is like twice as big, or no, not twice. This Aqua Dragon is like way bigger than our Harpy's Pet Dragon, which makes me feel scared. It's like, damn, it's doing like 400 damage too, but it's out of attacks. We definitely won this fight. 20,000 damage. <laughs> it's still going up. It hasn't stopped. Oh my god. Wait, why hasn't it stopped? Is this because we killed monsters so much stronger than us that it's giving us points for doing that? Okay, it stopped at 23,000. My god. Make sure you bring your strongest team to fight these things because they could have won the fight with a crit easily. One crit gets rid of one of my harpy ladies. I have to spend a turn monster reborning. Then they kill the other monsters while I do, while I do that. It, it's an easy way to win the fight. If Fortress Will would have survived, it would have killed us. It was doing the most damage. Plus, fire is not very effective on water, so this isn't going to kill it. Yep, and now this Harpy Lady has to do it. How much freaking... How many points are we getting for this fight? I have to know. 26,000. It's not... It hasn't stopped yet. 28,000. Harpy Lady got a 7th attack. Oh my god. That was so much, guys. That was insane. Plus... Sui Jin has joined your army. Fortress Will has joined your army. And Aqua Dragon has joined the army. We got all three of them, everybody. We are now super freaking strong. Alright, Dark Magician, you're going to be doing the final battle. It just makes sense. He's like... He's our, he's our leader. He may not be our strongest now. I don't even think he would have been able to win that win that fight. It, it had to be... Te or it had to be my... Uh, Taya, do you want to come help? Because you haven't... You, all you did was capture a building. You didn't really do anything. Come over here. Let's find out what we're fighting. Dark Magician Girl might take a little while to get there, but we'll find out. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll chill just a set for a second. Let these guys get here. It's a race. Who's gonna win? Fizdiz or uh, Simon? Are they gonna block each other before going in there? It looks like Simon. Oh, they're blocking each other. Simon has won the race. Damn. All right, go ahead. Go in there. Let's fight the final member of this area, which, damn, this is this has been one of our, like, it's been one of our normal timed episodes, but it could be a longer episode, depending on if this guy's strong. Eliminate. All right, Strings. Oh, he has an old team. We haven't seen this kind of team in a while. He has Labyrinth Tank, Slot Machine. I didn't expect him to have these monsters, honestly. And Curse of Dragon, huh. I was expecting him to have more, you know, his kind of monsters. He has, a, he has like, Revival Jam and stuff, so this is weird. This thing is strong as hell. Holy crap, we need to get rid of that. Alright, so let's get rid of the Labyrinth Tank, because that thing will kill our whole team. And I don't want to have to send Maya all the way from the bay over here. Great job, Feral Imp. Great freaking job. Shadow Flame, what are you going to do to us? Nothing. This might hurt. Yeah, actually, that did hurt. Never mind. 
Labyrinth Drill. This I'm afraid, especially for how fast it goes. Like, we're fine. Oh, oh, no, we're not. That did like 600 damage, 500 something damage. My God. Oh, my God. We need to kill that Labyrinth Tank now. Thank God our, our enemies don't have any healing items anymore because it needs to die. Go. Kill it. I know we can get a crit if we attack Curse of Dragon, but we're going to go for him. Holy crap, he didn't even die. Thank God. Yeah, attack our tank. Attack Feral Imp. No, 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 attack our tank, you jerk. Their tank will not attack our tank. Uh... Yeah, we kind of do need to spend a turn healing. Alright, let's red medicine up. Celtic Guardian is more important than Dark Magician. If Dark Magician dies, we still win this fight. If Celtic Guardian dies, we lose. Alright, Shadow Flame, go ahead. Oh god, now they're aiming at Dark Magician. Damn it, I should have known. It's all up to Labyrinth Tank. He decides this fight. Because this won't kill him. It'll be close, but it won't kill him. 190. Oh god, it's all up to Dark Magician. The guy who's missed the most on our team. Did not miss when it counted. Okay. Okay, Dark Magician, you deserve more respect. And you're about to get hit again. Oh my gosh. If we do not get you a heal... Oh, what the hell? That was for Celtic Guard. I can't tell. His arm is aiming at Dark Magician right now, so I cannot tell. Uh, let's heal up our Dark Magician, though, because there's no reason to let him die. We could still kill the Cursed Dragon easily, but Slot Machine is a tank, so it's going to take more time to kill him. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. We could still win the fight. I mean, no, we definitely will win the fight, because, you know... The Labyrinth Tank was the only real threat. Everything else is just whatever. It's doing damage, but it's not threatening damage. So let's get a crit. And 500 health left. That's enough for uh, one attack from Feral Imp and one attack from Dark Magician. Or one attack from Celtic... No, Celtic Guardian needs to focus the other guy. Two attacks from Celtic Guardian is worth it on the other guy. Alright, this is gonna hurt. I'm not... I don't want to heal my team, so don't go for Dark Magician. Good, good. I'm liking this. I like what you're doing, Strings. Uh, still hurts, but not bad. Now let's get rid of this guy. If we don't get the kill, then I'll probably just let Teo win the fight so she gets a little bit of experience. All she did was capture a base today, which kind of sucks. Plus, I like to let you guys see all the monsters get some action in. No need to not see that. But, yeah, this will be like one of our normal episodes. It hasn't been, it's been a long time since we had a real fight like this. And we got to fight- Oh my god, one HP! 1 HP clutch. Holy crap. I love it. I didn't even notice Celtic Guardian was that low. Oh my god. That was freaking awesome. Alright, Celtic Guardian, with your 1 HP clutch, let's see it. Nice. Okay, let's get Dark Magician Girl over here, or Taya, and let her finish him off. Good job, guys. Everybody did a great job, especially you, Feral Imp. That critical hit was necessary. Oh my god. Let's get Celtic Guardian the hell out of there, because he's gonna die. Alright, you back off. Over here. Let's heal you. Red Medicine, you. Good. Alright guys, let's end off the episode with Dark Magician Girl. And, uh... Harpy Ladies, you girls can move, uh, over here. I'm gonna guess there's no trader here. But you have the ability Constructor, so I guess we can buy a trader. Nah, let's save our money. Uh, Mako, go to the sea where you belong. And stay there, because we really don't need you. Even though we did get a lot of water monsters now, so I guess we could use you. Uh, Fizdiz and Simon, just, you know, I'll keep Yugi here just in case the other guys respawn. If they respawn, that would really suck, because I don't want this battle to take any longer. I just want it to be like a quick little, this isn't quick, but like a 36 minute, 35 minute, 38 minute episode maybe. Depending on how long it takes her to kill him. Come on, Dark Magician Girl, go, go, go. Healing ability, speeds, life point recovery of monsters in castles and towns. Super OP ability, by the way. Especially in long, drawn-out battles, Taya is one of the best people you can have. Uh, but normally, discount on Fizdiz and Constructor on Joey slash Tristan is super useful. Which, trust me, Tristan's going to be getting a lot less use after this. Alright. Strings, I'm sorry. Your army was not that tough. It, was, it, it had some moments where it scared me. But the roaming monsters were the real threats. So, we're going to finish you off with a Starlight Shot. U E B E A beautiful. Nope, never mind. Dark Magician Girl, do some murky burning. How's that do? No, it's still alive. Wow. All right, Midgar Volt, that'll do it. Slot Machine, you definitely earned your rank as tank. 
And if I had a machine user like Bandit Keith, then I would definitely be using you. But I do not, so we're not going to be using you. Dark Magician Girl, please level up. You're the one I need to level up on. I guess not. Nope. Okay. Whatever. Everyone else is leveling up too. That's good. We did, everybody. We defeated the almighty strings. Which isn't really... Oh, wow. He didn't even give us a lot of gold. That was sad. Huh. You've done well, Yugi, for today at least. Victory is yours. That voice. Pakora. <laughs> I'm not as easily controlled by Scott's tricks as your friends. I wanted to use him, and after a little bargaining, he gave me the military force I needed. To what end? What are you planning? <laughs> if you defeat me, I might be inclined to tell you. I'm in Makad right now. Come get me. If you really want to know, you'd better hurry. <laughs> Alright, so Bakora is actually not evil. Wow, we got no gold for that. Okay. Bakora is actually not evil or, you know, or working for Scott. Bakora is using Scott and is the evil version of Bakora in the Millennium Ring. So, yeah, Dark Bakora. So, we're going to be fighting Dark Bakora next time in the mission Betrayed. But, that will be for next time. Oh, only seven marshals. Sorry. Sucks, Mako. I mean, you suck, Mako. But, that will be for next time. Thank you all for watching, and see you then.